Hello, fellow gamers. Welcome to Board Game Battle with Glory Hound and Dr. Glory Hog. <laughs> Dr. Glory Hound. That's what I was waiting okay. for. Uh, that's what I was waiting for. You said it like that's too funny. nice, like too simple. That's it's not you. I'm here for you. Well, thank you. <laughs> and hello to our chat today. It looks like we have Bill Kiefer. Hopefully, I'm saying that correctly. And Battle Cry in chat today. Dr. Glory Hog's in the chat. Very well, good. we don't Always talk about Dr. Glory mm -hmm. Hog being mm -hmm. in chat. He's like, he's a troll in there sometimes. Wow. So. Wow. <laughs> I'm just too iconic for conventional media is a problem. Wow. That's what I told Greg today, actually. You're <laughs> too weird. <laughs> yeah. I told him, like, I'm too iconic for conventional media, wow. Greg. That's, that's why. Because he said, why aren't you on the podcast for Board Game Spotlight? And I said, well, they asked her. No one ever asked me to be on their podcast. Aww. And he goes, I wonder why that is. He's like, you're the strong, <laughs> silent type. And I'm like, I'm just too iconic for conventional media. They probably, like, it's you talk a lot. And some people don't want, to, like, to, some other people want to talk more than you do. So I'm they probably So they probably specifically, like, are like, eh, no, that guy. This he talks is the lot, first so. time anyone's ever told me that I talk a lot. <laughs> the first, I am blown away. What else are you going to tell me? Have I gained weight? Probably. I mean, this COVID time, everybody's gained weight, I'm sure. <laughs> like, nobody's three. doing anything. You're sitting at home and you're eating. I yeah. mean, but... I ate three popsicles yesterday. Oh, and by the way, if you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe to our channel because, you know, ring the bell, play games with us. It's fun. I like having more people to talk to. The more people that subscribe, <laughs> the easier it is to convince people to send us games <gasps> to play. So just, that's just the facts. The facts. To yeah. show off. When to I say like, hey, off. look how many people watch our show, then people are like, yeah, we'll send you a copy of the game. If I say, look how many people like, might watch our show, they go, <coughs> <coughs> that's great for you. Looks you like and your mom, look like, it, your mom well. looks like a really big fan of yours. I mean, yeah. She is. Yeah, she is. Yeah, well. Actually, I need to sign my mom up. My mom is a good, she is a your decent fan. Is, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. I don't think my mom has a YouTube account. <laughs> They could not get a word in edgewise. That's right, Battle Cry. That's what, I'm, that's what I'm saying, dare right? You, battle Cry. Right? Let's where's, get... my, where's my backup in chat? Where's my you, regular you backup? You have no backup in chat. I know. Chat I don't today. see anybody in who backs me up. So excited. I get to railroad Dr. Glory Hog on everything. But this is a cooperative game, so I guess I will. <laughs> <laughs> it won't work out in my favor. <laughs> you just show off this mini. I would hold it up, but you know oh, I'm, I'm so cute. To. So these are some of like the coolest minis. We've talked about painting these, even though we do not normally paint I'm gonna our paint, minis. I need to paint them. I need to paint of them. Of time. Who doesn't want a cat on a stinking Roomba mini? Well, Who doesn't want that? Trademark. You can't say Roomba. I'm going to show you the other ones, too, that come with this game. Basically, this is a programming game. And with Which this game here. When she described it to me as a programming game, I was like, what? Him. What does that so even mean? He's so cute. He's so cute. Oh, my gosh. His name is Rover. This is Rover. So we play this game He's, the, he's the best boy. We play this game blindfolded, right? We have to wear blindfolds. No, and... but we can't talk to each other, which is going to be really awkward in chat today. Just kidding. We can talk to each other, but we can't tell. We can't tell each other what cards we're placing down, as we cooperatively what have to place can cards we down. What we say to each other? I can say, Doctor Glory Hog, you're looking stunning today. No, what things oh. can we say <laughs> game-wise that is still within the realm, right? Yeah, I mean, you can say, oh, I'm going to place down a couple of cards and stuff, and I'll show the cards off as well, so you can kind of get in. An indication of what types of cards that you're like placing down. So can I down? say like, oh, I've got a couple things I want to do first. Uh, yeah, you could absolutely do that. But I couldn't be like, I'm gonna go forward two and then turn. Everybody kind of places all at once. You know, there's not really a written rule on like, all right, now this player gets to go at this time. That player has oh, to right. go at this time. But I know what we need when we lay out the cards that we would have to do it in a certain order. So like, it would make sense if you felt like you could do the first so couple cards. So the rules are, I'm gonna show you the cards. Here's, okay. here's the cards, okay? And we're each going to get five of these cards here. Kitty's going to start right over here where this little thing is. A little, and, they call that an arrow. Well, It's a new invention well. this year. <laughs> Hello, Nathan. How are you doing? Finally, and someone to back me up. Dexter, Nathan. how amazing are you today? Dexter needs his own YouTube account, so that way he can back me up, too. You're I super like, awesome. I feel like Dexter's also in my corner. <laughs> Dexter is also in your corner? Yeah. By default? I guess, yeah. Each player is going to get five cards, and this is different per how many players you're playing with. If you're playing with three players, they're going to get four cards and so on with that. You also have to have your own kitty available for your board, okay? And so we're going to get five cards. And Dr. Glorhog, if you could close your eyes for one moment, yeah. please. And these are my cards. And I'm going to kind of show you what's going on here. So this is going to be 
this way that Kitty will be moving. And this will be this way here that Kitty's moving. And as these, we start putting these out, you're gonna kind of see how the Kitty's gonna move through the room. And in this scenario right here, we're actually gonna be picking up all of these super cute little dust bunnies. Do you wanna put the dust bunnies out on our board here, Dr. Gloria? Yeah, Bob? as soon as you said the word Kitty, I immediately started to open my eyes thinking the cat jumped <laughs> on the table. I was like, oh no, she's back. Oh, Battle Cry says, I have Robo Rally that is my go-to programming game. I've heard really good things about Robo Rally, but I have not played it. I have too. And is Robo Rally still out of print? I thought it went out of print for a while there. I, there was at one point I was trying to get my hands on it and I couldn't find it anywhere. So we never ended up acquiring it. And then... Oh, Acquire, that's a good game too. If you don't, mm. if you don't get a board game, I feel like right away, sometimes it gets like in the back of your mind. And yeah. then later on, you're like, oh yeah, I should have gotten that game. And then it just goes like on a list of potential board games to purchase in the future. And that's where it is on our list with that. I know this one is super addictive though. And it does go quite fast. And it's so awesome to introduce to anybody that is involved in any sort of STEM or kids involved in STEM projects or programming and stuff. And go ahead. How did Fatal Paper Cut get in here? I didn't hear anything. No noise. Just... You just casually That's true. Did someone leave the door open and Fatal just walked, and walked in? in. Fatal. Come on, man. Fatal. You're better like, than Like, really? This. <laughs> was the first board game I played when I was eight or nine that had me like, whoa, board games can do Is this. Is Rumble Rally that old? I didn't I realize. I think that everybody. Aww. <laughs> what? No, what? <laughs> no, I'm saying, I'm not like old, old, but like, you know, 10 years, 15 years, 20 years. I didn't realize that Rumble Rally has been around that long. I don't know. I, I oh, can't remember okay. when it came out on that. It must have been for a while. A 20, it looks like the a new version when, was made in 2018. Oh, okay. And see, Fatal Paper Cut used to be a scout, so that's how it just <laughs> snuck right in. Are we placing any vases out? No, there are, are no vases in this one here. You okay. have, like, the base rules that you kind of have for the game, and then for each scenario, different rules can be added to the game as you go through here. So this is like the very first scenario in the entire book. And what we're going to do is we're going to do this scenario. Mm -hmm. We're going to do one a little bit later. And then I'm going to show you some other scenarios. I'm doing the math of how old Fatal is now. <laughs> okay, 94. You were like about 10. Okay, so Fatal's about the same age as you. <laughs> as me. So old. <laughs> All right, so question for you. Okay. Whenever the, it's whatever way the cat's facing. So if my card is like a go forward or a go back card, it's based off of whichever way the cat's currently facing. Exactly. And okay. those turns... I always think about, as you look at the actual arrows, just think if the arrow is going towards one way, like the left paw, it's left paw and right paw. Let me get a card to show you. All right, Dr. Glory Hog. Yep, eyes are shut. No, you can open your eyes right now. Okay. So this one here, since it has the arrow this way, if I'm looking at the cards, I call this a left paw card. <laughs> and that means that my cat, no matter where they're orientated at on the board, will make a turn towards their left paw. Gosh, that cat is just going to be a thing, huh? One moment, please. <laughs> Go. Oh, Cassandra. my goodness. So, we have a left paw, right paw cards, okay? So, this one here, they're definitely going to turn towards the left that paw on that. Put her up. Thank and you. it kind of has a picture and everything, but as I start playing... I know I personally am thinking about so many things going on on the board that I can go ahead and get confused sometimes. I'm like, oh my gosh, what was that again? So I always refer to it as left paw or right paw cards. And that just keeps it like in my mind perfectly. <laughs> All right. So I got my cards. I'm going to mix these up really quick since yeah, we saw one of those. That's true, Emma. We cannot program that cat. <laughs> That cat does what she wants. So your options here are going to be to either like to go forward, to turn, go back. You like can do a full rotation, different things like that, right? Whenever yeah. you've got There's... these yellow cards, always have some superpowers, don't they? No, the ye big thing about the yellow cards is with these cards here, you know kind of what's coming up. Like this is going to be a forward or a backward movement. You don't know how many movements. Okay, but you know this one's going to be some sort of turn, whether it's a, a 180 or a 90 degree turn. Oh, okay. These and then this one, you have no idea what it is. And don't you have to play this one first or something? That's later. Oh. That's, that's later. Once you start getting through these, I mean, it starts very simple. Then it becomes very, very strategic. That's true. We did keep talking about cats, and so our cat showed up like, <laughs> hey, 
<laughs> it's like the sound of the camera brings her out for real. Like if she's asleep in the bedroom and she'll come out whenever the camera's on. And they're like, she comes in like, oh, hi, everyone. Mm -hmm. I'm mm -hmm. a cat. Oh, this one here, they actually tell you how many cards of each type are in here. So there's five cards that are one movement forward. There are two cards that are a two movement forward. Okay. So you actually have like a little reference here. Gotcha. All right. So. I think I think we're ready to go. We need our battery because we only have so much. We only have so much time in order to collect up all these dust bunnies. What does that battery Basically, look like to you? I don't know. What does that look like to you, Doctor Glory Hog? What does that What does that battery look like, everyone? It's a copper top. It's a Duracell. How dare you? Okay. We're gonna get copy written for that. They're gonna take us right off of YouTube. Who <laughs> <Lord> knows? <laughs> only our chat can say that. <laughs> gotcha. All right. All right. I think I have a plan, and I think I should be able to go first. Well, you don't have to necessarily say. You can put down some cards. I'd like to look at mine first, though. Okay. And go ahead and put them in a line here. Hold on. Because it's going to be the order of actions. And each of us has to contribute at least one, and there has to be at least five. I have a really hard time with spatial reasoning, so... <laughs> Sometimes I mess this up for real. For real. Oh, and then says, I like the way you painted your mini to match your real cat. I actually did that. It's very detailed. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. That was all me. It took hours. <laughs> I am very confused by this movement here because for me, I guess maybe you could have gone forward. Maybe did you go forward and then you turned? Well, I'm, I'm banking on Dr. Glo Don't You can't tell me. <laughs> Don't say anything. <laughs> Yeah, no, this is a great value. The minis <laughs> in these are really cool. So I'm guessing that you went forward and that you turned like this, and so I think I'm going to try to go down here. And you're not actually supposed to say that in game. I'm just showing everybody how well, it works. And also, I've already placed my cards, too. If we were placing them like back and forth, back and forth, she knows that I suck at this, so she lets me place my cards first, and then she tries to figure out what the heck I'm doing. And we're going to do some of this. We're going to do some of this. That's it, right? Five cards? You can do five or more, but you have to do five. Oh, okay. And so that's why I wouldn't want to say this, because you could then add on two if you mm, wanted. Gotcha. Or I, I could not. place a card, you could place a card, and so on. There's not a written rule on exactly No, I, know. I remember turn. that part. Yeah. But I'm going to stop here. This is one that you played with um, Game Boy Geek, right? Oh, yeah. That's that's who introduced and Greg, me to it. Was Greg there? And Greg was there. Hashtag the elusive free Greg. Free Greg. <laughs> I finally have gotten Greg on some video messaging and... It's been good. It's been, been good to catch up. That's right. Absolutely. He's been playing all old games. Lost Cities, Dominion, just everything he's got since he, like, everything he's he, Basically all the things that he got whenever, like, he first got married and stuff. And, like, that's all he's been playing, pretty much. Let's see here. Battle Cry says, I like the house rule that you can pick up the flags and carry it as you go. So everyone has to go after for you. A rally. Oh, that's fantastic. I love house rules for games. They, uh... You have a house rule for a game that makes like your your game amazing. Like do that. Don't let anybody tell you. Oh, that's not how you play because like it's your house. I'm gonna tell you guys <laughs> a secret. From 19, let's say like 1989, till 2014, I played with free parking on Monopoly. Don't tell everybody about that. It's true. I did. Some people don't even know. I didn't know that that was not actually a Some rule. I thought that was part of the game. <laughs> and I gonna... thought all taxes and anytime you had to pay something, you go goes right in free there. parking. And then when and you then get when free, you parking, free parking, you're like, you get all that money. Right. Money, I thought that's money. how you played it. But apparently, <laughs> that is not how you play it. And I saw a big post about it, and I felt ashamed because I'm still ashamed to this day to admit <gasps> that I played with free parking for years. All right. So that's what's on my head. I have a pineapple bow. And it's adorable, and I love it so much. Like, I'm over the moon for my pineapple bow, everyone. <laughs> All right, let's reveal. Let's let's see where this robot went. All right, let me start off. So I went forward Choo -choo. two. So Wait, no, make a little Roomba sound. Like we're mm, we're not we're not rich enough to have a Roomba. <laughs> mm, mm. And then I went forward another one. Mm. So I've already got these dust bunnies and this one, right? And then I did a left turn. So it's like, I get so nervous for this part. All right, now it's all you. What did you do? Uh, well, geez, right, well, I mean, going? you went forward, and you went forward. Oh man, we're cleaning this. Oh up. yeah, we're cleaning this up. Boom! That's how you knock out some dust bunnies, y'all. Oh, I scared my dog. 
That's how you do it. He says butterfly. <laughs> Oh, it's a butterfly. It does kind of look like a butterfly. A pineapple-shaped butterfly. That's it's fair. pretty, though. So, <laughs> nice job. Butterflies are Thank pretty. Thank you. Thank you, Emma. I'm pretty. <laughs> you are pretty, Dr. Gloria. Right. You're so pretty. So, we picked up five dust bunnies, six dust bunnies. That's pretty good. Okay. There's only three left. What I did then... I think we got all the easy ones, though. Yeah. What I did then is I mixed up the cards, and you put them at the bottom of the deck here, and then we put our battery level down one. Now, we go ahead and deal out, so we're back up to five cards. So, need I need more, two, and you need three. Mm-hmm. Two, three. There we go. Yeah. All right. And this is how you play Quirky Circus. Ta-da! Um, <laughs> okay, I would like to go... I would like to pass go. Oh, no, I do not want to pass go, actually. Actually, you And should... I do not want to collect $200. I think you should do some I stuff. I also feel like I do not want to do stuff. Okay, so then I have a plan. <laughs> Man, I wish I I'm had a cat this. that could clean that well. Me too. And then I'm you going to... Actually, our cat has been slacking because our cat does not clean anything right now. And all that cat does is make messes. Yeah. And then I'll play this one. Okay. And uh, may the gods help me. I'll play this one. The way that Dr. Okay. Glory Hog is squinting at everything, I'm not okay. really, I'm not really, oh, what is this? What is happening here? Some stuff is happening. Okay. Oh, gosh. What's happening? All right. I think you should do some stuff now. So I swung by the, the friendly local game store today, and I was very encouraged to learn that business has been good. strong, especially tabletop role-playing games. Good Makes for sense. distance playing. That's awesome, Nathan. You know, we don't go out very often, but when we do go out, we do usually visit a friendly local game store or our friendly local game stores and make a purchase. Absolutely. And like, I'm actually thinking about going down and getting the new Marvel Champions Doctor Strange deck. <laughs> Fatal Paper Cut says, Butterfly and German is schmetterling. Mm -hmm. Random fact from Fatal number one of many to come. That's true. <laughs> Early, <laughs> earlier, Fatal Paper Cut told us that a plus symbol, when rotated, is still a plus symbol. That's true. That's very true. And schmetterling is one of the troll characters in Arcadia Quest. That is that is correct. I thought that was hilarious because I I already knew what Schmetterling was. So I, when I told you, I think I told you, didn't I? Yeah. And we were like, always, what the heck? You always tell me a bunch of butterfly facts and I don't really use oh, them. Oh, okay. All right, so what's going on here? You I did some stuff. are doing some random stuff. So I'm here all night, folks. Your don't randomness your of randomness. <laughs> I'm thinking... This here, you're either going forward, you're backing up. I mean, you have to That's be. That's literally what that card can do. That is what that card can do. Mm -hmm. Are you going forward or are you backing up, though? So that turn and difference. then turn. I think, I think I feel like I know where you may be going. And if I'm wrong, then you know what? Stuff happens. And we're just going to see what happens with this. <laughs> okay? All right. You ready? <laughs> you ready? Beep, beep, beep. Oh, beep. yeah. Backing up. Wow, 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 wow. Right? Okay, yep. And then... Oh. I like I like the the flip around noise. That was good. Wow, 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 wow. All right, so we flipped around. We turned. Oh, you went forward three. Oh, yeah, I did. What's up? What's up? I just We just got that dust bunny. That's I'm sorry. You, that's what you're excited about? I was excited about it. I thought somebody said something in no, chat. No, no. I was like, we what? got that dust bunny like it was nobody's business. All right, wait. So the cat's here. That's a left paw turn. Left, Go right towards the left kitty paw. There you go. Left paw turn. <laughs> okay. So that thing happened. Okay. Now we're facing the wrong way. I feel like we're doing good. Go ahead and reduce their battery strength though, okay? Oh, no. We're running out of good juice. <laughs> we're getting down to the bad juice already. Let's see here. And then what is, there was a cat with a Roomba one too. Where was the cat Roomba one? A cat that wrangles Roombas. There's plenty of those online. I've seen. Yeah, surprisingly, yeah. cats will ride on Roombas like pretty chill, which I did not think was a thing. That's all. I wish like to, It's my... they like to stand on stuff. I bet you we could get our cat to stand on Greg's. Oh, you guys don't even know. Greg has a tortoise that's like this big. Like a big old tortoise. That's small compared to how big the tortoise is. Okay? Yeah, it's, it's big. <laughs> He's got a big, like, outdoor-only tortoise. It's the type of tortoise that you will probably not be able to lift up. Yeah, it's the type of tortoise yeah. that, yeah, it got out one time, and the neighbors called him. It didn't get very far. It got three houses down. And it had been out for hours. Like, corral it back in. And they did. They had to, like, they had to, like, get him to turn around with, like, using broccoli and celery, I think. <laughs> and they got him to go towards the house, and then finally Greg and Stephanie had to pick up 
the turtle and bring it into the backyard. That's the best part because you're like, come on, come on. You know you want this broccoli. Come on over here. It's true. <laughs> I really hate going second, but I don't feel like I want to you go You don't have first. to go second. You don't have to. I mean, I, I can, can try to go. go okay, no, no, I'll go. I'll go. Oh, I'll, okay. go. I'll go do this. I'll do this. And okay. then I'll do some of this. And then uh, <laughs> maybe, I mean, what would you like to do? <laughs> Is there anything you may possibly want to do? If not, I could do a couple more things, maybe. Do a couple more things. Okay, cause... okay. Then we're going to do some of this and some of this. And I think that's right. I think that's right. And then hell or high water. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Ooh. Hold on. No, I need, I need to rethink. I need to rethink. I'm looking, I'm looking back at my oh, card. My okay. Gosh. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I only got one play here, so. Yeah, no, those, that's right. You can just imagine him riding down the street yelling, Try before you buy! <laughs> Hashtag kill all the trees! The battle cries. Oh, Fatal Pickrat, three years later. For real. <laughs> all right, you got stuff down? Okay. That's how I play. We're going in for it. Ready? I hope so. So I have no okay. idea what she's up to. So we've got a left, left turn. Left paw. Okay. So we've got a forward. We got some forward action. We've got, what is this? A right turn? Right paw. And then, okay, and then a right turn. Why? Why, why did you do <laughs> that? Why did you go all right? That's all I have. And then I do this and I go ram. <laughs> Listen, I can only right do so much. We started. I can only do so much. I have nothing. I can't do anything. It would have been better if you would have at least stayed looking out that way. We Now we're just backwards in the you. You know what? We did a little dance. Schmetterling. Schmetterling. You're <laughs> you being a use, schmetterling right now. You can't use that as a bad word. You can use any German <laughs> word as a bad word. You schmetterling. A Wiedersehen. A Wiedersehen. A Wiedersehen. <laughs> I spray dry dirt. Sometimes I'm, I'm sorry that I've taught you a little bit of that. How many cards do you need? One? Mm -hmm. Okay. So three, four, five. One day we will get this robot where it needs to go. Okay? No, we won't. Okay, never mind. It's a cat on That's a robot. True. So technically, if the cat makes it back to the arrow, I'm just going to be pleased they they made an attempt. That's Pato all. Pepper cuts right. Even the nice German words sound like you're being cussed out. Ich liebe dich. Well, it's because of the way you say dish. it. That's why. <laughs> I like strawberries. Doesn't sound threatening. <laughs> Did I give myself a one, two, three? Oh, I, I got all the Oh, my God. I don't know what you're doing. All right. So here's the deal. I'm going to give this cat a Red Bull and <laughs> so an, an extra get, battery. Get wings. Did we move this down? No, We're we didn't move yellow. it down yet. Ooh. And then I'm going to give him an extra battery and just let this cat go crazy and finish dusting this place up. And the advanced sort of thing is like they want you to go ahead and try to finish this before you get into the yellow. And I don't even see how that would happen. How would you do that? You'd have to maximize so much. Okay. I'm going to do that. Okay. And then we do that. Okay. And then we do that. And then it's up to you, champ. Okay. Okay. Maybe. Or I could actually just do that um, and then that. Okay. Okay. I think I can work with this. I think I know where this is going. I hope so. And then we're going to do... <laughs> we're going to do this. And we're going to do... This. Oh, God. And this. All right. Hopefully that worked out for me. We'll see. Ding. Left turn. Okay. Oh, yeah. Forward two. Forward one. That's what I'm talking about. All right. All right. All right. We got this. We got this. Okay. 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 Fatal paper cut. We are making progress. Okay. Um, that's what always happens with Roomba. They just bounce into the walls and then they turn around. Oh, I've been counting the days since my last Kickstarter project back to encourage me. I looked back over my list and listed all the games I regret. Only six not bad. That's not bad at all. You know, honestly, we've got a Discord server set up. I would be interested to hear what the six games are that you regret. Where are the discarded cards? I just threw them up here. Oh, okay, okay. I'd, I'd actually really like to know which ones are the ones that you regret. I'm always curious to see which ones people regret versus which ones they don't. I don't think I've regretted a single Kickstarter purchase. There's definitely been games where I'm like, cool, this doesn't live up to the hype I felt whenever I bought it. 
And I'm like, I don't see myself playing this one a lot. And so, like, I moved it on or, you know, traded it to somebody or something like that. But I don't think I've had any that I, like, just regret. I need one more. One more? Okay. I need a schmetterling. All right. A schmetterling of a card. I think you should do some stuff. That's what I think should happen. Mm -hmm. All right. Here, let me do this. Because we can't talk. But look at my cards. There we go. There we go. I got us. I got us. Okay, and then, okay, and then, do you want to do anything else? Uh, <laughs> I feel like that's very loaded. No? I guess. Uh, all right, ready? Okay. Three, two, one. One. You got this. You got this. So we do. Wait, poop. What are we left doing? Left paw. Left paw turn. So this the, way? toward the kitty's left paw. Oh, did I miss, get a mistake? No. See, this is the kitty's right paw, and then that's the kitty's left paw right here. We're going this way. Yes. Okay. Then forward. Yes. Okay, that's good. Like that one. Yes. A complete turn around. Okay. Yes. Wait, I think I was banking on this, and then I said four two, and then I had no other options but to go back one. But still, we're like kind of in well, the right area. I mean, we are kind of in the right area. It's all right? okay. It's we okay. We need one more dust bunny, and then we just win, right? Do we have to go back to no, the docking station? No, we have to go station? back to the docking station. Which is up here? Yes. Oh, sweet baby Jesus. So we only got like what? One, two, and then we're not. Are we, do we lose as soon as we get to zero, or do we have like that last one? No, chance? we lose as soon as we get to zero. I need two cards. Ooh, so we've got two turns to get that dust bunny and get we back. We got it. We got it. Are yeah. we going to lose the introductory game? <gasps> Maybe. Maybe. It doesn't look good on camera, but maybe. <laughs> okay, so I can do this. Okay. And then you should do some stuff. Okay, I got this, and I got some of this. Okay. And then... It all ended happily ever after, everyone. <laughs> so you did that, and then that, and then... This game gets I want to do this. harder with more players, I feel like. this. Like, this isn't hard enough? <laughs> All right. You ready? Okay. Let's do this. <sighs> okay, so forward. Left paw turn. So toward the kitty's left paw. There you go. Awesome. You can definitely tell that I don't struggle with this. <laughs> and so I went well, backwards. You know what? That's a really good thing to note, Dr. Glory Hog, because not everybody has super great spatial reasoning with things. It's a right paw turn. So if you hold the card like this, whichever way the card is facing, he's gonna make he's gonna go towards your right hand, and that's a right paw turn. So turn the key towards his right paw. Yeah. Okay. So I know you have a struggle. You struggle with spatial reasoning in games and where yeah. things are moving. So this is a very tough Which game. Which is why for you. I thought I hated um a lot of not, not tile placement games. Well, I guess, yeah, just regular tile placement games. But then the polyomino ones have won me over because I did play Tetris as a kid. So I can kind of, I feel like since they're set pieces, I know where they go. It's like the turning that always messes me up. So with this game, mm -hmm. I think when we first got this, you were nervous about not liking the game. And although you have that challenging aspect of the spatial reasoning, or you do yeah. still enjoy the game? Yeah. Okay. No, I wouldn't play it if I didn't enjoy okay. it. Well, Pause and yeah. reflection and reflect Aww. on your decisions. <laughs> oh, I get it. We're looking at the behind. Yeah, this is the behind the scenes <laughs> look just for our special viewers. This is not the actual gameplay. That'll be posted later. That's right. This is where we yeah. win, where we secretly look at our cards. And, and we're go like, like, okay, mm -hmm. so these, mm -hmm. these turns we're going to play this mm -hmm. one. The deck is stacked. The no, deck is stacked. I feel like by now you've seen us lose co-op games. You know that Scratch it happens. Scratch that. <laughs> you want to see us play co ghost stories and watch us lose a game? Oh Ooh. my gosh. No, we were playing... We could not beat that game. Spirit Island the other day because we were testing the online program for it and everything. And yeah, we lost. I forgot how brutal that game is. That game is just so brutal. If you do not work together strategically from like the very first second that we that game starts. We proper strategery. Oh. I need another card. You're just going to get kicked. Like by a mule. Oh, for real. All right, how are we going to make it back to the stocking station? We can't literally talk about that. But thank you for asking <laughs> that question. 
Uh, do you have something you want to do right away? I would like to. I don't. With my cards. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I'm going to have to use a lot of cards to get them the way I want to get them. Okay. I could do this. Okay. And then do this. And then hopefully you save the day. <laughs> Okay, this could mean so many things right here, Dr. Gloria. <laughs> That's true. That's why this game is hard. Yes. Okay, well, I mean, the question here is, did Dr. Glory Hog do a 180 or did he do a right paw I'll turn? I'll paper cuts thinking that they're going to get um, Steampunk Rally Fusion first. So I think the ones that are on our radar, I just saw something that mm. said like early September for Tidal Blades. And I saw another game we just looked up, and it was like October, the end of the month, or end of the, the end of October. What game was that that we were looking at? There's another one that we were super excited about. I'm like, when is this game coming out? I can't remember now. Was it Dice Throne Adventures? I don't know. I'm still thinking about my turn and how we're going to lose oh, yeah. terribly on this. Yeah, no, we're going to definitely lose. This is not going to go well. I don't know which direction you're going. <laughs> So the only games that I have on my shelf of shame that I regret are not really Kickstarter games. It's the ones that like I get at like a convention or something that I'm all excited about, and then I like get it home and I never play it. I'm like I was so excited, I put it, I made room for it in my bags. I flew through TSA with it and got checked. They pulled it out, looked at it, like all that shenanigans involved with bringing board games, especially big ones, back with you from another state. And then I still haven't played them. And then I'm like, why didn't I just wait for retail? Like, we played Clank Legacy right away when we got it, so I was really happy about that one. But we got, I convinced her to get um, Black Angel, solely based off of hype. I had no idea what the game hype, was about. Hype, hype, I just hype, said, hype, everyone's hype, talking about Black hype, Angel, you should hype. get Black Angel. Yeah. So she got it. It's a big box. She brought it home, haven't played it. We've had it for months. We could have just casually picked it up at the, at the local Here's store. Here's the thing with that game, though. It's not because we didn't want to play it. It's because... It's a two-hour-plus game, right? Well, and based off of reviews and what people were saying and everything like the rule book I think is really hard to go through and that takes a commitment from me to go ahead and sit down and yeah. read through something whenever you get something first and there's not a bunch of stuff out there for it it can be daunting like, you don't have any rules videos you don't have a bunch of content on it if there's a question like it becomes where you're really having to like study something or study a rule book and figure out what everything is with it does that make sense mm -hmm. okay what what do we got I don't even want to admit how many games I have that I haven't played. Your shelf of opportunity. The one that the, the other ones that bother me are the ones you get when you go to like um, BGG Con, and they're like, "Here, you get a game off of this." When you go to Board Game Geek Convention, what they typically do is your, part of your entry is you get games, and so oh, they'll be like, "Take a game off of right. this shelf, a that's game off right. of this shelf, a game off this shelf," and there's usually three or four options on each shelf, right? I forgot about that. So you get four four more games usually. And so we get eight combined between us. And yeah. And it's a lot of stuff it's to bring home. a lot of games to bring you home bring right home away. And then, since you didn't go out and actively pursue them, you're just not as excited about getting them and yeah. playing them. Yeah. So, like, we ended up with, like, you know, copies of stuff that we just haven't played yet from two, B three BGGs ago now because they weren't on our list to buy. They were just games that were given to us as part of our ticket entry. And yeah. They just sit there. And I look at them sometimes. I'm like, I heard you're a good game. But not today. <laughs> I heard you. Not today. I heard you were good. All right. But not good enough. You ready for this? I did a flip. Yes. Whoop. Okay. I thought it I thought you did a flip. And then I did a one forward. Okay. And then you did a left paw. Okay. Okay. And then you did two forward. One, two, right? Mm-hmm. And then you did one forward. And then we lose. Right? Right, right, right. Did we lose? Yes. Like we could have added more cards to oh, this. Oh, we could? Yeah, we could have. Oh no. Don't look. <laughs> Alright, I can do this. I can do something. Watch. Ready? Okay. I can do, I'm going to do this. I'm so sorry. I thought we couldn't. I can do that. Is there anything else you can do? What cards do you have left? And I have that. All right. One. I got so distracted. And then turn. Oh, wait. We need another card. Oh, gosh. Da -da! <laughs> By the skin of our Congratulations, teeth, we got it Dr. Glory oh, Congratulations. So oh, I'm so happy. I'm so We're proud so, of you. Oh, my gosh. So proud of we you. We did all that without talking. I mean... <laughs> All that. I mean, we just played one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight cards without talking. Perfect coordination. Absolutely. Perfect coordination. It was like you read my mind mm -hmm, mm -hmm. the entire time yeah. while playing that one. It was fantastic, really. I keep, since I haven't played this one in a while, and you were the one who relearned it, I thought we could only play five cards. So no, I was you like, can oh, play more. we can't. 
You yeah, can play more so if you want. This probably could have gone a little bit differently if I would have. If you would have known? Yeah. All right. So let's fast forward in time. Oh, yeah. Let's go forward. How many let's do you want to go forward? Let's fast forward in time and see how just how tough this can get. Do you want to do the second to last one? Where is the last? No, let's just do the last one. Just do. Well, I don't know if you want to like get to like the finale of of Gizmo's let's arc. Let's do it. No, let's do okay. it. Okay. That took about 30 <laughs> minutes, so let's do this. Let's get crazy with Gizmo. Let's go all in. Well, we didn't need, we want to do one where it shows off the little things that you can break. This one doesn't have that? It has chairs. It has chairs that you, this one here has chairs that you slow down as you go through. Let's do the one, though, that we can break vases? stuff. Yeah, I like the vases. Oh, I can break stuff in the attic. We're going to break stuff, okay? Well, this one gives us 10 rounds, though. So this one here. We're going to place all our dust bunnies, and we also have these little vases that we can knock off. Um, please, I call them vases. Uh, vases. These little vases. The fragile vases. I sometimes go to Whole Foods and buy <laughs> cucumber water. And when these suckers are bumped off Whoa. the table, they break and they leave a mess, and you have to end up cleaning up that before you can win the game as well. So you so have you to clean to up the dust it, bunnies. Through that space? No, you don't want to go through that space. You don't want to touch that space so at all. it falls, we've got to go through it. <laughs> yeah, if it falls. So okay, okay. if you bump it this way, it's going to fall over here, and then it's going to break, and then that's another mess you have to clean up. <gasps> oh, a fatal paper cut. When you get the Heritage Edition <laughs> of Wonderful World, we should try to play it um, online together or something, because I would love to play that. Because we just have the basic one that I bought at our friendly local game store, because I saw that they had it. And, uh, yeah, I'm super jelly. I want to get all the extra stuff for it. I was actually just on Lucky Duck Games right now has where you get the win tokens for It's a Wonderful World and then, like, some additional, like, starting cards that you can get. But they also had a buy free for $30 where you can get, like, Jetpack, Joyride, Zombie Tsunami, and Fruit Ninja. And the other two, so Jetpack Joyride is kind of like a real-time moving game where you're trying to go around and, like, collect coins while dodging obstacles. We actually covered that on our show. Yeah. But the Zombie Tsunami and Fruit Ninja, they're all three plus player accounts. I think they're like three to eight players. So that's the only reason why I haven't jumped on that. But thirty dollars for three like little box games, not a bad deal for sure. Actually, you know what? As we're going through this and everything, let's show them the other ones instead. Let's just go through the book and show them all the all the ones. I just got set up. I'm sorry. Let's do this. I'm sorry. No, let's do this. We'll do this one, then we'll go to the next one. Okay. Well what else? Well, let's let's show them these ones here. Okay. okay. So, so no more dust bunnies. Well, I just want to show them the different ones that we have open to us here. Okay. So you have like the little bee here. Where is he at? This guy right here. I can't remember the bee's name. Twirl. That's right. It was Twirl. And we have Twirl and Lefty because I want to show, show them all the sushi maps and everything. Okay. This has a huge variety of stuff that you can do and all of the programming portions of it change. So uh, here we go. Here's Twirl. Where you have ant hills going along and stuff's going to be taken to the ant hills. And then you also have Rover. Can you pull it, pull it up so people can see it? Oh, yeah. Go ahead. Well, I don't know how to do it. There we go. All right. So what do you do with Rover? And Rover, you're going to be actually taking these cute little, like, dinosaur pieces. And you're going to be trying to deliver them to different parts of the board. Aren't they so cute? They, like, make a little dinosaur. And I love that it's a dog that loves little bones. Yeah, well, that makes sense. As you're going through, right? And then you have, this is my favorite one. We actually have only played through some of, I think we played through a couple of the Twirl ones. We played through all of Gizmo's yeah, ones. Yeah, we got through most of Twirl. I want to get to Lefty's really bad. Lefty is all about sushi. And you're trying to deliver sushi to these little cats here. Oh, my goodness. And you actually have cards where these conveyor belts like move the sushi around, and then you have to have your like your little robot here grab the sushi, and then feed it to the cats in this. It's freaking. So he's got to grab specific pieces cute. of specific pieces of sushi. Oh yeah, they are. Yeah, right? because each cat wants a different type of sushi here. Oh my gosh. Oh, so okay. as Follow you're going here. around, you're trying to collect things from the conveyor belt. The conveyor belt is moving, and, and each person to, okay. has a different deck of cards with different movement stuff on them. Okay. So you have like. His deck's completely different because he has picking up and putting down cards. And then also, you know, then your regular movement cards as you go through, and then you're trying to deliver stuff as you go along, right? There's a lot of campaigns in this. because This is 48 pages, and then how much of it is, like, actually just learn how to play? Not and you know what? 
this oh, that's it. So forty eight pages, and this is even this is just the scenario book. So you got forty eight pages of stuff. Right. I just realized too that this here is the same way that they did Forgotten Waters with this book. Oh. I just realized that right now. Oh my gosh! I didn't realize there was like a different theme per each character. Yeah. That's kind of neat. I really wanted to show everyone that because sometimes when you get to like reviews and people showing off the game, they never get past like this the first intro. portion here, the intro. And this game is so much more than just this little tiny intro. Like this is the easiest yeah. ones. Gizmos is the easiest ones that you can go through and do. In this book, it gets far more complex and you have stuff moving around the board. You also have your person or your character moving around the board and your goals become different. And there's like some other... I agree with Fatal. I didn't think these, I would like these either, but these maps, these flat maps have really grown on me too. It just makes it very easy to just go, okay, here's a new map, here's a new map. It becomes such a, like a compact system. Like you don't mm -hmm. have to have like a big, huge box for it and everything. Like I'm 100% okay with these. Uh, we were flipping through with Forgotten Waters with this and... If it was several maps that we had to take out and it all this other stuff, big. it would be cumbersome. Yeah, it's hard to put on stream. Right, it would be super cumbersome. Jaws of the Lion was much easier to show off than Blue So Maven. easy. Mm -hmm. So simple to be able to just, okay, new scenario, boom, flip the page. I hope that in the future, more board game companies do this because it, it's so simple and it's so easy and you can take it out and you can take it places and everything. Like, And especially with things like Jaws of the Lion, you're able to change the art. Yeah. Does that make sense? Like, if we were playing, if this was a regular board game, we'd have, like, this one board. You know what I'm saying? Right, Or okay. you'd have to have four different boards. Yeah, and a then lot more variety. each one wouldn't change. Like, these, every single board changes in this. You have a new board every single time. Right. And to actually make that in actual cardboard would be, you just wouldn't get as many choices. Speaking of app games, this does kind of remind me of, like, an app game that you could play, like, going around Ooh, trying to collect stuff. Yeah, yeah. It, the whole thing, though, is like playing it with other people, though, and having that back and forth and back and no, forth. Right. It's like so hard. Right. I'm saying it reminds me of an app, but it's way more complicated when you're trying to go back and forth. Because otherwise, I could just be playing with the cards I have. And some of the effects that you can go through and do on this, you are actually like you can go up and Rover can jump over some of these, but some of these make it so you can't go up or down on them. Does that make sense? Right. Yeah. It's a, it's a one way path, basically. Right. So this is like a recessed area, and Rover. So you can go down. But then he has to jump to get up it, right? Or go out on this one path. I like the supplemental book that adds or alters an existing map. In Jaws of the Lion. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because mm -hmm. all of a sudden it adds a whole like right? third area that you can add on there. And it makes, with such a small effort of having like another little small book in there, it makes it so you also have that surprise still, you know, when you're setting up the game and everything. And then it's basically just referenced on there like, oh, and plus this page, and you can wait until you get to that part of the game until you actually like flip open that page and look at it. Like, I really, really hope more companies adopt this. I am so stinking excited about it. Did you want to set up this one? Sure, that's one you want to play. Okay. I Let's haven't, do. I haven't played Rover. I was like, I went ahead and like talked for fifteen minutes, so I'm sorry, but I really wanted to show everybody kind of what was happening with it here. So we got this here. Okay. All right, there's where our bones are, okay? Just those two bones. Just those two bones. Because okay. this is the first level the of Rover. The first level of Rover, okay? Gotcha. So we can put away Sushi Bot <laughs> and uh, Mr. Angry Bee. That's right. And we're going to find Rover. And Gizmo Rupert the Cat, which I love Gizmo good the boy. Cat. Ooh. I almost want to get a Roomba for our cat, but it would be very short rides because our house is small. I'd be like, meh, Rover meh, is the bestest meh. boy, okay? And so Rover has his own cards. Oh, so Rover has his own cards too. So yeah, they're each, different than Gizmo. Each character has a completely different deck gotcha. that you play with, okay? Is, we got this whenever it first first came out and I got to I played through like the beginning scenarios with Gizmo, but I don't think I got much further than that. A couple of Rover's cards that he has that we didn't see from before are the pick up and drop option here. Okay. So which this is just be means directly in front of his mouth. And the one square directly in front of his mouth, he can pick up or drop off okay. something, okay? And here is the jump symbol. So this is a double jump or two spaces jump. So if Rover wanted to get up over top of this, it could be one, two. He could go against the grain and jump up on top of here. And then there's like a jump one in here as well. Or no, there's a jump on three there. 
a two and a three. Well, that really makes it complicated when you jump. Like, you'd be like, I'm off the board. And the jumps on here jump off the board. are just normal forward moving cards. Okay. So I'm interested to see. I'm interested to see that. Are you ready, Dr. Gorham? Oh, I'm ready. You're ready? Install and a new exhibit in, Robito in Robotopia's Grand Museum. Assist Rover with uncovering ancient dinosaur bones. But finding the bones is only half the challenge. Can you help the doggy bot display them in the museum? Maybe. Probably not. We're going to see. We're going to see. So we have to get this bone A to A to deposit and this bone B to B to deposit. Okay. Okay. And let's see here. Do, do, do. The fossils, the way that they are, it's whenever they're like in his mouth, it's okay to move it through like... Stop. Yeah, nothing's going to be able to block it on there, I believe. Okay. Well, that would make sense. All right. Okay. I think I can do that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's a good sign, right? Does this shape mean anything? Which shape... Oh, the shapes Shouldn't. of the bones. I'm sure that throughout the campaign or throughout this book, the scenario book, that definitely comes into... Uh, into play yeah, because there's nothing together, yeah right? exactly there's other portions of this book here this is just the first one so it's giving you the basic rules of it so you learn how to pick up and put down things and that there are other aspects of this board that you're going to be playing with let's see here okay. I was reading what it says your goal is to live can you do it um, hmm. you should do some stuff I would also do that then I would do. Hopefully that works out for me. <laughs> that. Okay. Oh gosh, we need to play five cards. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is not looking good. Okay. I guess I will do this. Okay. We'll see. I'll try this. Okay. I think that's all we want to do. All right. All right, let's start off. Woof. Woof. So the two jump? Two jump. So he ends up here. And so this one is, he just goes sideways one, right? That's right. Oh, Dr. Glory Hog. Lucked into that Killing one. Killing it. Lucked into that Killing one. Killing it right now. All right, go ahead and throw our battery down one. No, I will never use up this battery. Bye-bye, my dust bunnies. My All dog right. is so excited about us playing this game. Okay, okay. And you need what? Two more? Yeah, I'm good now. Okay. I would like to do that. And then I would like to do... I would like to do this. Um, yeah, I can't throw in a final square. Wow. Sweet. Hopefully the house out. That? Wow, that is not good. And then... That is going to be awkward. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead, Dr. Gloryham. Just finish that out. Just finish okay. that out. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Ready? So we pick it up. Right? Okay, up. yep. Picked up. Then he's going to turn around. And he goes, dun, 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 And then he goes, left. And then he goes, right. Okay, so. Well, we he looked around a lot. Turn. He got really excited that he had the bone there. He was like, oh my God, oh my God. And he's like doing his little puppy dance like this. That's exactly what happened. We should have walked him before we played with him. <laughs> that would have helped. I'm assuming that's the issue. Um, I got to be right back, guys. Apologies. Hold on one second. Aha, I figured out how to use the system, I think. All right, all right, all right. So let's talk more, now that she's gone, about Kickstarters you regret. No, we shouldn't do that. What are we talking about here? 
So she had to run off to go do something here. So what do we have going on in chat? All right, so if you had a robotic dog, what would you name it? Would you name it Rover? I feel like there could be better names out there. I don't know, what would you name it? I know, it's time to take over, right? So what should we do? All right, so did you ever have a story from when you were a child that you remembered a very specific way, but then as an adult, you go back and you look at it and you're like, I don't think that could have possibly happened that way. So here's my case in point. When we were younger, we used to ride our bikes a lot, right? We rode our bikes all the time. You know, I was born in the 80s, so that's all we did. We went outside, we rode our bikes. My mom used to kick us out, lock the door, say, don't come back till the street lights are on. So we'd spend a lot of time outside. And we would build a lot of ramps. And our ramps always consisted of like a cinder block or two and a piece of plywood, right? Not the best ramps. I was definitely not a mechanical engineer. And so we'd set these ramps up, right? And I had this very vivid memory of setting a ramp up at the end of my, there's a cul-de-sac in our neighborhood. And so we went down to the cul-de-sac, we set a ramp up there. And I remember riding it with somebody on the back pegs of my bike, right? And I've got like this little huffy bike. And I remember riding it and hitting this ramp and clearing the top of a wall. That, so there's a, a cinder block wall and it had one or two bricks missing at the top. And I remember clearing it and knocking one or two bricks off and then landing in one of the major streets uh, by our house. So in order to have done this, I, as probably like a 12, 13 year old, would have had to pedal fast enough with like a seven year old on the, on the back pegs, fast enough to hit this ramp, clear a couple, like maybe like a hundred feet, jump a wall that was, I don't know, it's at least five feet high, and then land in the street, which is probably like another 20, 30 feet away from the actual cinder block wall. And I remember landing in the middle of the road and then a car coming and being like, and quickly turning my bike and then riding it and then jumping back up on the curb. Um, to the little sidewalk on the street by me. And I'm thinking now, so I live close to that same area and I drove by it the other day and I looked at it, I'm like, there's no possible way that happened in my mind the way that I remember it. So I don't know if that's ever happened to anybody else, but as I'm looking at it, I'm like, there's no, I just don't think there's any humanly possible way that I could have just hit the ramp, flew over this thing, jumped over this gigantic cinder block wall and then landed in the middle of the street without like actually dying or hitting the wall. I probably would have just hit the wall. So yeah, that's what happened. We need a sign. <laughs> we probably do. I'm just trying to think of like, of like why that would have happened, right? Like that I would remember it happening that way because I know that it could not have possibly happened that way. So you have a very vivid memory of a bat biting you on the belly as a child. It never happened apparently. Okay. So I had, a, I think you guys have heard my vivid memory about Disneyland and the Matterhorn where I felt like the mechanical Yeti comes out and attacks you. And then as an adult, I went around and I realized that not only do you not get flung way out into space on the Matterhorn, that the Yeti just goes like that and just kind of like does like a little hand drop thing. In my mind though, the Yeti takes a step forward and then swings out over the carts as people are going by so that you have to duck and hide. And so when I went through this with my grandmother when I was six years old, I remember hiding and getting underneath at where the feet part was at. And I was hiding there. So when it stopped, they were like, where's the kid that was, at, that was with you? And it was just me hiding at her feet. Oh, okay. Hold on. Hold on. Be right back again, but real quickly. apologize to what you all were subjected to. <laughs> Listen, I was on the spot. I was trying to think of something that I could talk about that wasn't too deep. Oh, I heard Dr. Gloria Hahn from the other room and I was like, oh my God. <laughs> hey, at least I didn't fake a bat injury like MM, okay? I could have done that. Oh my gosh, thank God you're back. <laughs> Listen, listen, I wasn't prepared for this break, all right? She had to leave suddenly. Oh my gosh, so sorry. <laughs> Are you done? Okay, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. I have a feeling she's <laughs> never, she's I'm never. I'm never going to take, never, I will never touch the VRV button ever again. <laughs> I'm kind of glad you have one set up and we never had to use it before. <laughs> like usually if like the dogs start barking or something, like I'll just go out there take off my mic but oh yeah. my gosh that's exactly it they don't pay for cut that was exactly it. i should have started describing a movie to you i should be like 
Okay, so basically what happened was... All right, are these your cards? I think so. Did I put I my know. cards back up? I'm sweating. <laughs> Four or five. <laughs> How did our dog end up over here? Did we do that? I don't know. What'd you do with our dog? What did, I, all I, last time I remember, he was turning around little crazy circles, little yeah, pupper I circles. Yeah, we were over there. All right, pupper Wait, circles. Here, shuffle all the cards back up, because I don't know what happened. Those aren't my cards, though. Cheater. That's not cheating. <laughs> All right, so the dog was here. We did like a little spin and We went left, we went right, he's back. I'm cracking up too, Fatal. I mean... Listen, in my mind, no, that story was going to be gosh. much more poignant. And okay. we we're going to have this, Three, this great discussion. Four, it is a lot harder five. to be on camera solo. And you're like... Da, 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 da. I felt like Ashley Simpson on Saturday Night Live, just like, I don't know what to do. <laughs> yeah, I... Uh, yeah, I thought Ooh, that story was... First off, fire. there's no fan in here. Under fire. So I'm hot. And then you're, you got super sweaty. I started well. getting sweaty. It was <laughs> definitely different. With you here, I'm just like kind of chit-chatting and like throwing you some shade. But by myself, you're I was like... like and then I'm trying to read the comments too, because usually I read the comments while you're talking. And I'm like, oh God, did somebody say anything? And I was like, okay, MM has a bat story. That's good. Okay, good. Bat story. Let's latch onto that. What do I know about bats? You know that there's actually a adult sized bats in the Philippines. They're very oh big. They're flying gosh. foxes, but they're like the size of like a five or six year old child. They're like decent size. Can you own one as a pet? No, I don't think so. Then what the heck? What the heck? Okay. All right. Are you ready for this? You're not ready for this. Are you ready? Are you focused? Refocus. I went. I did it. I had an ET moment, like Kato Wager was saying, and I jumped this wall. It really happened. It did not happen. I'm pretty sure. Logistically, it could not have happened. Okay. Oh my God. Oh, exactly what I wanted. A card refresh. Excellent. All right, I'm going to do some of this. And then we're going to be a good boy. Okay. And we're going to do some of this. Okay. And then we're going to be an even better boy. Okay. And we're going to do some of this, I think. Hold on, let me double check. Okay. Okay, that is my move, Dr. Glory Hog. And we have this little bone in our mouth, and we're like, woof, woof, woof. All right, let's do this. Okay. <sighs> you got this. You got this. We're not going to spin out this time. Go ahead. At least I didn't tell a war story. Oh, that's... It could have gotten worse. You guys are lucky. <laughs> it could have gotten a lot worse. All right, so we're going to do a complete loop-de-loo, and then we're going to go... He's got double over, jump? He got over his excitement his, with double jump? having the bone. He was like, oh, you know, okay, I'm calm I felt now. like I'd always be prepared for a moment if we ever had a BRB moment. Yeah. And I just was not. You were not prepared for I'm the gonna, BRB like, moment. I'm going to have to like, watch some stand like comedy or something next time so that if you have a moment <laughs> that you need to jump off, that I can be like, okay, okay. So the thing about pickles is, <laughs> all right, so then you went, you did a left turn. Yes. And then I went and did a left turn. But then I also went and did a right turn. Why is our pupper so confused? He's went. My, Why is I, our pepper I knew I couldn't so do anything, confused. so I just went back forth, back forth. He's so confused, everyone. I knew I had nothing. Poor pupper. Okay. Poor pupper. <laughs> I have something I can do for next round, though. Give me my new cards. All right, I'm working on. I'm working on it, Doctor Glory Hog. I'm working on it. We only have four more rounds. Okay. And I okay. ran out of bike stories. You got this. You got this. I do actually have another bike story, but I don't know if that last one went so how many, well. And you need how many more? That's Please, it, right? Okay. In the comments below, tell me how that bike story went. I don't think it went so well. <laughs> Let's see here. Like, 99% of the stories from Army YouTube would just be like, okay. <laughs> what, demonizing the, this channel? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Yeah, most of the Three, stories four, I can tell you probably aren't the best. That's okay. the downsides of going to other countries. Let's see here. Okay, so I think this is a good action, and I think this is a good action, and then I think you should do a good action. I like action. this card, because he does. He looks like he's, like, like this. The like, dog? so cute. Yeah, on the card, it's so cute. I can't show you, but well, I'll show you good. after. Like, oh, I'm like, now I'm going to look at my card. I'll show you after. Like, is it that one? <laughs> okay, so I'm doing a thing, and then I'm doing a thing, <sighs> and then you should do a thing. Dr. Glory Hog, why are you like this? You dealt these cards. <laughs> hey, Battle Cry, she dealt these cards. <laughs> I haven't touched them. I don't like these things. Okay, I... Uh, I feel like we were better at this the last time we played this. This is not working out for me. Were we better? You can tell me, honestly. We were probably better. It was, <laughs> the bully ran out crying it was in our cheered. youth. It was in our youth. That's true. <laughs> oh, what are you doing? Okay. So, I'm assuming you're turning. And you're moving forward, and I don't think there's anything... You should do something. I don't think there's anything. Okay, I'll do this. 
No, wait, I mean, oh God. Oh no, okay. So actually, you know what? We had uh, the barracks that I used to be in, Jimmy, Hen Jimmy Hendrix was in that barracks. But that's like my only semi-related story to what Fatal Playbook said. Most of my army stories would have to be on a very much not children-ish friendly <laughs> channel because I went to Iraq and Afghanistan during both those wars. So most yeah, of them are yeah. not the best. Yeah. Um, so you did something. I did something. It's uh, not good, but it is something. Uh, and it's my one card contribution to this something? event. That's it? You're going to give me one card? What am I supposed to do with that, Dr. Glory? How I don't even know what that is. And then do something else. <laughs> Oh god, our puffer is so confused, everyone. Okay, I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna oh, risk it. Oh, our puffer is so confused. All right, ready? Oh, this is not gonna be good. He's going to turn. Which way is he turning? He's turning right paw. All right. Okay, that's okay. what I thought was gonna happen. Okay, and then four. Oh, I'm like, why am I confused? I played that card. Okay. And then he's turning right paw. Okay. And then he's gonna do a loop de loo. <laughs> okay. Wait, but which, wait, which which one what? did we pick up? What? Which what? one did we pick up? Oh my gosh! Oh yes! my gosh! Oh my gosh, what just happened? What just happened? We are 50% done with oh the game. Oh my god. Okay, okay, we did I it. I can't believe that just happened. You're welcome. I can't believe that just happened. Like... Are we stuck in here now, though? Can we, like, not leave? No. What do you mean? I well, mean, we have to go out this way. Right, but, like, is this bone no, no, block no, us? No, 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 no. Okay, that would make it very confusing no. and hard. Okay. Just, oh my gosh. I can't believe that actually happened. <sighs> just like my bike story, it really happened. I... There's going to be like a meme going around like hashtag, <laughs> hashtag bike story, hashtag never happened. Oh, I do have a good story I could tell you, but that's different. Yeah, Fatal Paper Cuts like, what? <laughs> yeah, I did not think that was going to work at all. I, yeah. The real talk is how many people did like left the stream during me talking? That's what I really want to know. <laughs> you want to see the numbers? Because I thought it would be better to have me try to tell a story like randomly. To be Instead fair, of our wait music. Da, da, right. Da, da, I was not ready da, for it. Da, da, da. <laughs> what has happened? I need like three more cards. There you go. I can tell you about the story when I punched a catfish. Why? And you know what? Like, you shouldn't even be talking about that story now that you're all vegan and everything. Like, I'm the vegans saying, I... would be hating on you for punching catfish like that. So there's this you retaining, get a vegan tongue there's lashing. There's this little retaining like park area, right? Where there, a nobody lot of... wants to hear a story about. Brutal, brutal, catfish brutality. And so the well, water, no, no, whenever it no, floods no. in Arizona, they're built for that, right? So the water floods. <laughs> Did he get mouthy? We don't promote catfish brutality on our channel, everyone. That is rude. You don't promote rude. it. Rude. I'm just saying, I can promote it. <laughs> okay, so. Okay. And You're the then... bestest boy. I just want to pet him on the head. He's the bestest boy. Okay, I think. No, you should probably do some stuff. <laughs> okay. So anyways, this retaining pond filled with water, right? And what happens is, is that it gets really hot in Arizona, right? So a bunch of fish died. So there's a bunch of dead fish. And we were swimming in this retaining pond because we were gross kids, apparently. And it was me and my little Why brother and one of our friends. grossest kids? We were swimming around, and there's this big, so like, now I say big, it was like probably about like that long, which Hold is on. big for Arizona Dr. fish. I don't have... Oh my gosh! Let me just a do thing. it. I guess I'll do this then. It's still gonna be bad, and then I'll do this. Thing, everyone. There. All right. I did some stuff. <laughs> Actually, I'll do this. Okay. So, anyways, so a bunch of fish died, right? Because it got hot and the water spilled out of the retaining ponds. So a bunch of these fish died, and so there's a fish. It was probably about that long, you know, which is pretty long for a catfish, especially in Arizona, especially for like a little pond. I mean, a pond you could swim across in like three minutes. Very small pond. I've been in, I've been in swimming pools bigger than this pond. And so what I did is I carried this giant fish home with me about a mile. And so I'm carrying this giant fish behind me, right? It's about as long as my leg as a kid. Carried this giant fish behind me. And I got it all the way home. And then we realized it kind of stinks. We're not going to eat it. And my mom's going to be really mad if I walk inside the house with a giant fish, a giant dead catfish. And so instead, I threw it in the trash can. Do you know how hot trash cans get in Arizona when they're left out front? Yeah. It got worse. So for like the next year... Our trash can smelled like just bad, dead, rotting fish. And my mom would get so mad every time she had to take the trash out, she would just yell at me again, like brand new. Like it was a whole brand new yelling session. You know, every time I agree we went with out. your mom. I agree with your mom. You but probably... the reason why I said I punched the catfish <laughs> is because the girl next door yeah. wanted yeah, to know fatal why. Paper cut. Thank you. The girl next door wanted to know why I was carrying a catfish. And so I told her I punched it. And then I brought it home to impress her. And it worked. Hashtag she went out with me for three days. I hope you're proud of yourself for <laughs> that just terrible story. It's not terrible. Well, I don't even know. You know what? Let's take a vote in chat. <laughs> how, 
From a scale of one to of a scale, ten. oh, fish have scales. What five? And on a scale of one to five, how entertaining was that story? With oh with five being, what the heck was that? And one being, oh, that was terrible. Okay. <laughs> I'm just saying, you fell in love with those stories. All right. Oh God. So I turned around. I don't even know what we're doing right now. Our pupper. Look! Look! Hey, he's, he's got a rocket good boots. boy. Ready? He's a good boy. One, two, three. Right? Yeah. Because he's doing the jump, and I did one, two. And I was like, just kidding, slide it back. And then you did sideways? Sideways. <laughs> 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 it's okay. It's okay. We're in the right vicinity. We're in the right vicinity. You need to get your head back in the game. This is why you can't BRB. Oh. I, just, I don't have, I didn't have any good cards. I did not, I seriously did not have any she good cards. She will never, ever Three be Three fins up, says nice. Evan. A solid 4.5. Bill what? Kennedy said it too. Thank you. All right. Well, thank you, Bill. That's fair, Bill. <laughs> I feel like Bill has more refined taste. Listen. I'm with you, Bill, okay? The 80s were wild, okay? <laughs> and the 90s weren't much better. All right. My kids' stories are just going to be like this one time I was playing Fortnite and I, I got like oh, three kills true. in a row. That's true. So at least my story has some fish, fish brutality, even though I didn't fish actually brutality. hit the fish. Right, I'm going to do this. And then I'm going to do this. Yeah. What? And then I'm going to let you do some stuff. Because you should do some stuff. I can't do stuff if you give me none of the good options. Well, listen, Dr. you know Dory what that has. is, right? Because you know what the star is. No, I know what that is. I know what that is. Well, I'm just you know thinking how about I, what I have to be doing to get there. I'm just thinking about what else I can do. See, I think these stories would play out a lot better on Discord, right? Where I had time to think them through well, and type them did out. Did you tell everybody that our Discord is ready to go? That was a great segue. Thank you. Did you tell everybody that our Discord Don't is ready to go? eyebrow raise at the camera. <laughs> That's my thing. <laughs> there you go. See, Bill Kennedy has a catfish story. Maybe that's probably why Bill didn't like my story, because his story is like, my story's better. But fish did die. <laughs> wow. All right, so you did something, you did something, and I'm just going to assume this can't hurt it. If you want to join our discard right this very our second. Our discard? Join our discard pile. No, well, no, our discord, not our discard pile, okay? It's way better than the discard pile. <laughs> It's actually on our community tab on our YouTube channel. We have a link there for it, but right after the show, we're going to link it on Twitter and Facebook and everywhere else. So, Alan, make sure you replay to find out Open the amazing the story of, of me trying to ride a bike. Open the gates! Open the gate, and the, and the blood will flow. Well, and the like, board games will flow. I think Alan should have at just the right time. Maybe the spice will flow. Ready? So I turn. <laughs> Look, I pick it up. Oh, he's such a good boy. And That's then you do, what is this? I go, wee! Wait, so you're going to go this way? <laughs> you're just going to try to electric slide your way out? And then you went one this way? And then I went like this. Look, I went this way. Now, is that what? bone what? gone? The bone is gone. What are you so doing sliding over there? Well, I assumed you were going to try to get us over there, not do whatever it is you're, you're doing. doing. <laughs> do you see? you see my cards I have? I don't have anything. The Discord pile. Oh, that's pretty good. I like that. We should call it the Discord pile. The Discord pile. You know what? That would be a great, uh, what is it? If, like a thing where you're complaining about board games and stuff because it's lots of Discord, you know? The Discord pile. Then it would have like so many. It would have like a triple we're gonna, meaning. We're going to be right back. No, <laughs> it would have a triple meaning. Kidding. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's right. It's a silly place. Let's not go there. <laughs> I need to bring out those chai teacups. Those were better. All right. Now that I know, they're not so clanky. They're hidden now, and I'm going a to. A new segment is born. And somebody's, somebody else is going to get that game. All right, I think we are ready. Okay. To get the. How many? Get the heckin' out of here. I need three cards. Okay. This flooper is not happy. There's only so much I can do. You know, actually, I'm going to say Rover does look really happy. <laughs> does he? Listen, I had to go to the bike story because my other stuff was like, shouldn't this robot dog have a different name? It was mm -hmm. getting bad. What what, did, what would the robot's different name be? I don't now know. Now I'm curious. Three, four, know. five. It Rover is a perfect name for a robot dog. It got weird. I mean. <laughs> All right, I did a thing. Now do some stuff. Okay. I'm going to do some stuff. Hold on, one of my cards is upside down. That's not going to be helpful at all. Yes, because that's what's going to be to stop <laughs> us here. Oh, I'm going to need to take a strong nap after this. <laughs> Can I just go to bed? 
That bike story was so much better in my head. I should have left it there. <laughs> in your head? <laughs> yeah. I thought it was this really engaging story about being a kid and riding a bike. And the people would be like, I also have fond childhood memories. But apparently people just got attacked by bats their whole childhood. And so now my bike story doesn't seem nearly as cool as being bitten by a radioactive bat. <gasps> Batman. Maybe the um, M.M. should be flipped upside down, and those are W's, which look like little bats flying. I think this is all I can do. Do you think about it? Think about it. Look, if the M's were flipped, they would look like little bats. No? Okay. <laughs> he needs to pull a Dr. G. No, That's fatal. right, he does. No, so, M.M. says mm. Rover needs to pull a Dr. G bike maneuver, which is to jump with a six to eight-year-old on your back pegs oh over my gosh. a wall. No, that was not me. I knew... Dr. Glory Hog, when was it? It was our freshman year. Did we meet? Was it where we? Yeah, freshman year. Freshman high year, school we met. High school, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. We became friends. Aww. And I was like, a long, someone says you're funny. Why don't you time. tell me some jokes? And I basically, I basically told her the bike story. I, I froze <laughs> up. I froze up. I'm so, usually really good with improv, but I've realized something. I do not like public speaking. This may surprise you. Yeah. I'm only good in small to medium sized groups. You put me in a large group, I freak out. You put me in by myself, I freak out. If I've got one or two other people, like anywhere from if I've got anywhere from one to ten people, I can run that room. But any more than that or any less, I'm out. Come on. Too late. Too much, too little. That's, that's how it goes. All right. All right. So I did a thing, you did a thing. I did a thing. And then are you gonna do any other things? Uh, the things I have to do are not going to be helpful in this exact scenario. Sure. So I'll just Wait, do was she catfished? This, this probably this. this. <laughs> She didn't are you doing all the things? Well, no, no, go ahead. Keep doing do what you're doing. Of, no, none of these are good. Oh, okay. But I'm are you to... just making her dog be random and, yeah. and ridiculous? Yeah, I'm just trying like a to real pupper? play my cards. Okay. <laughs> Did you want to play anything after all this randomness? You might as well sure, let's do this. Well, that's not good. And good see what happens. <laughs> all right, you ready? So we're going to turn. Turn. We're going to go two, one, two. Oh, that's actually pretty good. Then I turn. It's a left paw pupper. He's left. This way? Then... Now he's a left paw pupper. He's going to go this left. Way? And then... And then he's doing... Oh, okay. That's not too bad. That's not too and bad. And then you drop it right here. I go, bloops. Do we have to pick it back up now? <laughs> we have to pick it back up now, don't we? Probably. Oh, my gosh. Sick air rover. Yeah. Is X Games the thing? So I think it is. I saw oh some like gosh. Monster Energy X game style thing where they like there's people like on wheelchairs doing X game stuff and everything. And I'm oh, like, what? Really? Yeah, like doing crazy jumps. And That's stuff, freaking and I'm like, crazy awesome. <laughs> did you shuffle five? these cards? Don't you have to shuffle those cards? In? They go on the bottom. Oh, okay. So three, four, one more, five. Okay. You keep making me have to do all the. Did things. you do? Did you do the battery down? Yeah. Listen, there we go. Rover is running out of time. Rover is running out of energy. What cards do you have? He's still wily as heck, though. Still wily as heck. Even though, <laughs> even though. <laughs> Oh, even though he's losing battery. Okay. I have a bunch of random cards. <laughs> okay. Oh, I think Rover might have Robo Rabies. No. We're going to have to put him down, old jailer style. Oh, gosh. Okay. Um, I'll do it. He's my dog. No. Oh, I'm so sad. <gasps> All right. I somewhat apologize for what happened earlier. <laughs> Somewhat. Oh, these are just not good. I mean, we'll do some of this, and we'll do some of this. <laughs> That's Rover it? is the best. I've just decided Rover's the best, okay? Okay. Because of his random movements, it's exactly like a dog. Okay, he picked it he up. He picked it up, and he's like, oh, my gosh, I got a bone. Oh, my gosh, he I got a bone. forward one. This is so awesome and amazing. He turns this way. <laughs> if you would have had a drop, we could have got it. And, then and he goes, oh my gosh, over here. And he, and he wags his tail a little bit. Slide to the he left. left. And he goes, slide oh my gosh, just kidding, right. over here. And he slides to the right. Oh, he's real excited. I feel like that's a song. He's so excited. Slide to the left. Slide to the right. Now bark. <laughs> now bark. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Slide to the left. We have what? One turn left just to put the dang bone in the basket. <laughs> yeah, all we have to do is drop it, right? We just got to drop it now. Like that's it's... all we got to do. Hey. <laughs> drop it like it's hot. Well, we do have to drop it like it's hot. It is it true. It would be hot. It does seem Two, it's very three, dangerous. Three, four, five. Oh, I forgot to mix that. Never apologize for aerodynamics <laughs> and physics. That's right. You know what? It's not my fault I remember my childhood. 
Wow, Dr. Glorhog rides into the sunset, fist raised high in the air, a la Breakfast Club Don't music. Don't you forget about me. Smoke him up, Johnny. Don't, don't, don't. You need one more, right? Okay. Don't you. You got this. <laughs> oh, wait, no, no, no. I'm so sorry. We have to get back to our starting point. <laughs> we do. I was, I was about happening. to throw the game. You're just like, wee! You throw your cards okay, everywhere. So hold on. Hold on a second. I think <sighs> I've got. Oh, wait. Let me see the backs of your cards. Uh. Oh, God. Yours are the worst. Mine are the worst, everyone. Um, Mine are the worst. Is this, is this, we'll have one more turn after this, though, right? <laughs> Technically? When it gets to zero, we lose. Right. So we have yeah, one, one more, more turn, turn after this. One more turn. So I'm going to still do that. All connected to the Discord. Oh, yeah, everyone. Start leaving us some Kickstarter stuff and everything. I'm excited. And I'm going to go there. Okay. All right. So you... We already dropped off. No, we, we're dropping off the bone. Okay, yes. so we're dropping it off. And then you're like, oh my gosh, I'm such a good pupper. Because I don't know what that is. And then eventually you turned, I guess. What we found out is we all had a secret talent. The jock, the nerd. <laughs> Can you describe this ruckus? We're going to do this and we're going to do some of this. Oh, hold on. Yes, and this. Boom. Oh my gosh. All right, let's All try right, this. Hopefully this worked out for me. So we drop off the bone. Okay, we dropped it off. Boom. I slide to the left. Uh, I do a loop-de-loop. Okay. Loop. You put your, you put your pokey pokey. You do a loop-de-loop. Loop. Oh no. Then you went, is this back one? It's back one. Can you go back one or is this a barrier? No, it's a barrier. So you just probably have an itchy butt. <laughs> have a, little, a little rub there. Okay. And then you went back another one. You went, itchy, 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 itchy. Okay, okay, it's okay, it's okay. Oh, I thought that you were making a full, like, I don't know. I thought you were. You thought I was so, making a fool of myself? No, no, no. <laughs> I thought that you were faced this way, and so I was going to do a 180 and then back it up and be like, back up into that little spot like this here and be all cool about so it. So you but guys it did not that out. song from the 90s, it did not work No out. Diggity. You got to back it, back it up. For years, I thought that song was No Diggity, you got to bag it, bag it up, like a grocery bag. And so I would sing it to her. I'd be like, "You gotta bag it, bag it up." Where'd you put I like this the way card you then? work it at the very bottom. Okay. No diggity. Okay. You gotta bag it, bag. And she's like, "It's not bag. It's back it up." And then I was embarrassed. <laughs> For your child. <laughs> you know, I didn't listen to the song well enough, apparently. Okay. Did you get all I your need cards? One more. One more. Here you go. What other songs have you misheard? There's a bathroom <laughs> on the right. The grocery bag. That's right. You just gotta bag it, you know? You just take it with you. <laughs> I was just thinking, yeah, you meet a nice girl, you wanna bag her up, and I guess <laughs> take her home to your mom? I don't know. I was a very weird child. This should not surprise anybody. Oh my goodness. What you got? Okay, um, I mean, I have a good something from here, but, um... <laughs> it's like one of those things, not only do we have to be in there, then we have to, like, stay there, right? Yeah. We have to be a good dog and stay. Right. St oh, my dog's actually looking. Okay, I'm going to do okay. this, I guess. Do we have to give our dog a treat because he's staying? There you go. Like, he's over there, like, wagging hopefully, his tail? Hopefully this works out. Okay, so I'm assuming... We'll see. You did some type of thing. We'll see. I think I got this. Oh. Ready? <laughs> Ready? Okay. Ready? Ready? Okay. Okay. So you did a flip. Oh gosh. What is this? It's a right side movement. Slide to the Sliding right. Sliding in. Ready? And then I drop the bone, which I don't have, or pick up the bone. <laughs> I guess it just opens his mouth. <laughs> speak, boy, speak. He, he gives a little bark. I like bikes. Okay, enough you. And then I did a turn to oh, the right. Yeah. And then I did a turn to the left. See, he's such an excited boy. We won it this time without he's cheating. He's such an excited boy. I'm so happy for him. Look at he's such a good boy. He's such a good boy. You did, you did a good job there. <laughs> I feel like I should get some praise. I feel oh like my we gosh, would be everyone! Programmers. You know what? I hope everybody enjoyed this. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed yourself. This wasn't fun for anybody. No, this I is... feel bad for Plaid Hat when they come back to look at this. And game. then they're like, "What just happened in this and video?" And they're just gonna be like, "We can't, we can't retweet this. <laughs> this isn't, this isn't tweetable. This isn't tweet material. We're just gonna, we're just gonna bury this one down in the feed." Well, you bury know this what? One in the feed. Sometimes, what is it? But bad content is also good content because people are just like, you know "What, what the say? hell?" No content's bad content. 
Am I right? <laughs> Greg is not amused. <laughs> yeah. Greg would not be amused. I hope that all of you really enjoyed this he video. He did try this before he bought it. I had a really fun time playing it, though. This is... It's such a funny, fun game to break out, and it's so easy to get back into I feel into like we need, like, a and... PR person that I could talk to, and they'd be like, okay, tell everybody you were on heavy medication, <laughs> and you weren't supposed to be driving, <laughs> that you had a back injury, and that's why this happened. And that's why this happened. That's why my bike story happened. And thank you so much for chat supporting Dr. Glory Hog thank and you. his one-man commitment to the show. <laughs> I did it. Honestly, honestly, I did it for you. You're so wonderful. You're so wonderful. Not, no, Bravo, not you. Bravo, for Dr. Glory. I, oh, no, I, I know you meant for them. I know you meant for them. I already did everything I could do for you. That's, <laughs> that's it. Best stream ever. Fade to black. <laughs> no regrets. Absolutely. So if you enjoyed Small this video. No regrets. Small regrets. Make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. We have a lot of fun with all of you in chat, and we hope to see more of you here. How dare you, MM? I don't make up stories. These things happen. We will, Ish. We will also be posting our Discord up on Twitter, Facebook. It's already on YouTube on our community tab. So if you are watching our videos, you can just go to the top where it's like uploads and videos and all that other stuff up at the top. You go to community, and it's right in there, and you can join us. Are you going to post the link on this YouTube, like on the comments? Oh, do we want to do that? That'd yeah, be easy, and I'll right? post it in the comments. Duh. She'll post it in the comments. It definitely and by won't be me. me. Yeah, by me, I mean Dr. Glory Hog will post it in the comments for me, okay? You have to, MM says you'll have to make up a different story for next time. That's true. I don't make up stories. There are really things that happen. So I've already told them the fish punching story, the <laughs> Yeti, and the bike story. You're running story. out of stories. Oh There's only God. so many stories. I can talk about the time I hit another ramp, and I landed on my face. And my whole face was all Ow. scabbed up, and my mom had to like feed me like top ramen sooth broth for like a week, because all I could do is drink with a straw. You're wasting the story right now. Oh crap! Oh, Dr. Glory Hog. I'm gonna go get on my bike right now. <laughs> all right. So, what are we playing on Sunday? We are gonna actually play Champions of Hara by Green Buyer Games. That's right. It looks that is, amazing. That one was a Kickstarter actually from I think 2017, 2018. Not yeah. a super long time ago. But we actually picked that up at Dice Tower West, and I'm really excited to play it. I've had, I had it recommended to me by more than one person, and so we got our hands on a copy, and so we are going to play it. And we also have our Kickstarter show tomorrow at Noon Mountain Standard. Yeah, that's still Mountain a thing. Standard time. Mountain Standard. There's like standard at least three time. of the campaigns on there are like three hundred thousand dollar campaigns. Oh yeah, it's going to be a good Kickstarter week. So I mean, it's no come on. Everybody, it's just no, eat. it's no chill. Come on, one mil. Is but there it's money still in here? Good. Is there money? Oh, I have a little bit. I have a little bit left for Kickstarter. Okay, just fly. No, you just open up your wallet and you just go, uh, can I back this? And he goes, no. <laughs> okay, that's fair. That's fair. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for hanging out with us today. We will see all of you later in the week. Best stream ever.